hello and welcome back my friends in another MSI bracket stage best of five banger potentially versus BLG and PSG here facing each other and uh, yeah it's a David versus Goliath story but PSG I mean they can play some League of Legends and let's see if BLG's hype is um, yeah justified because people have been uh, yeah saying they're easy going to win it all they're just going to shit smurf on everyone lpl is the best region or some nonsense like that let's see what uh yeah one chinese team can do against another right uh don't ban me right games and let's get into game number one my friends right now okay taking a look at the pick ban i mean very nice to see jarvin making his return but uh yeah, I mean, we have like a bunch of weird champions all over the place. Um, okay, yes, yeah, sweeping the ward here. Aje is going to get the yeah, early uh, XP buff. And oh, they're looking for an invade here. Udi and Aje are like already in there. It's, it's, oh, it's not in smite range just yet. And now it is. You will get the level 2 as well. Maple now in all kinds of trouble. Charmed has to flash off as well. Level 2 on Knight is just crazy difficult. And yeah, that... Uh... Oh, well, whatever. Uh, level 6 advantage now real, right? That's what I talked about earlier. And now this is the moment that matters, right? And... Yeah, I mean, full fold, right? Uh, very... Like fine played by uh, BLG spot lane, and uh, yeah, overall just a bit disappointing, right? It's like uh, Betty and Woody, right? It's like, shouldn't you have been a bit more aggressive here? Yeah, here he's going to W in, going to get a nice Q flash, and yeah, he doesn't get the what is it, Ligma? Will die to on in the end, but that doesn't really matter, right? On uses his flash to get that kill. Uh, it guarantees a support or an assist for uh, Elk, so that's at least something, right? That's maybe the logic for on there. Uh, I'm giving gold, uh, gold to my uh, AD carry, but whatever. Uh, okay, one for one in, uh, or two for two, right, in all neutral objectives. Now the scary thing is, will Aji be able to, like, outplay this uh, dive attempt here? He buffers his E, and... Yeah, no. I mean, very nice uh, turret aggro juggling. What the hell did I just witness? But so far, it oh my god, Maple, what was that? <gasps> I don't, I have no clue what happened there. That looked just crazy. Uh, you're not getting that one. But uh, what the fuck was that? Maple with like Mach 3 runs into the enemy team due to uh, On's uh, hostile takeover. Maple, what are you doing? Yeah, uh, uh, this Cassante champion, have we actually seen a Cassante that was like uh, just all right, not completely over overtuned in the last couple of games? I, I have no memory of that. Okay, here, counter engage, Jun goes forward, but uh, yeah, already so low, now Maple joins the fight, flash away by Knight, and uh, yeah, they are just getting completely clowned upon, the single target focus, and yeah, it's an ace at 14 minutes. All the hopes and dreams that PSG had are completely crushed to pieces by this, uh, yeah, engage that goes all over the place, right? They can't, uh, like, lock down a single target and deal damage to him at the same time. They're losing two turrets, they're losing uh, Rift Herald as well. Uh, that's the like, uh, 5,000 gold swing uh, in a uh, blink of an eye, right? Ari now being stopped with her split push by Maple. Maple, hello, are you going to for the, for the wave? No, he sacrifices the way for a play in the mid lane. Ult is in, and that's one kill. And yeah, that should Elk also be down. Maple still gets charmed on the turret. Will fall down any moment, even though he gets the scoop. And uh, yeah, no one can help him because Bin was looking at them menacingly. And yeah, he sh does he get away? Oh, there's going to be the charm. Okay, there's the next old Betty used his abilities, he gets hostile takeover and immediately one shot. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can make these plays, right? That's just literally what Lucian does right now. But you need some, you need some vision before you dash forward and do all these kinds of things. Uh, yeah, like, 
if there's just like a, the very decently strong 308 Jarvan right next to you, maybe you should not like dash forward. Uh, yeah. But uh, just another good collapse by BLG. I mean, they're just uh, really punishing like children's misbehavior. Okay, been here in a one versus two, but actually he just throws them over the wall. Red Maple, I thought you were the master of the stones. I thought you were the earthbender or something, but no, Cassante just does that as well. Just way better, right? And uh, yeah, they turn the play around two for one. Two versus one just means two kills for the side of BLG for Vin and his uh, companions, right? Uh, looking at the Baron here, Yunja, I mean, he has uh, no flash, so like how does Maokai will ever, like how does he ever go into the Baron pit? The answer is he doesn't, and uh, yeah. Let's just hope that this game goes over quickly and then PSG gets uh, a restart in the middle. Because like this is pretty, pretty over. Running at people and just obliterating them. These are not, uh, I don't know, tanks in a RPG setting or something like that. Ooh. Oh my god, Alk just gets the kill and on the other side Aji, he's not the mo big bad Ugot monster. He's just a snack for the BLG squad to take up on whenever they feel a bit, uh, bit, bit hungry, right? T talking about hunger, not good because I'm hungry. If you're also hungry, like the video. If you ex experienced hunger once in your life, like video, like subscribe, you know how it goes. And uh, yeah. I mean, PSG at least can be happy. They're not getting uh, like humiliated as much as like other regions, right? But regardless, PSG here like trying to hold their base. But I mean, I don't know, Maple. Just, what the fuck? That was obviously completely like ballsy out of position. And uh, yeah, it's going to be the end here. Betty's going to fall down. One more last jump into the air because of Woody's old, and uh, yeah, that will be the turrets falling and uh, yeah PSG they hold on for 25 minutes but I guess the game was over with that 14 minute ace really that just was too much night here ruins this KDA what a idiot but anyway let's move into game number two maybe PSG can uh, step up to the occasion and improve similarly to uh, how, how Fnatic improved game by game um, but we'll have to see okay my friends we are now in game number two and uh, we see a big bad dragon and we also see uh, Kisante on PSG. Is this going to be the changing point? Can they win with over-tuned very uh, strong champions? Or will BLG just being like a, a better team work out for them and will they win? We'll have to find out now. We have a, again a very mid-game focused comp by BLG, right? Champions that really spike well on level 6, level 11, right, with their first, second level in ultimates. Also around the time when they get to one, one and a half, two items, where they're really powerful. Um, so, uh, yeah, around the same time, uh, maybe a bit later than last game, uh, is where they are pretty good. Uh, okay. Not too bad, right? Half HP for half HP but also uh, like getting the flash. The only big downside is, I mean, he has cookies, right? So that's uh, smart from him, right? That's um, taking that into consideration, right? Because in such a situation where you're getting bullied, HP is one of your most valuable resources that you have. And yeah. Oh, it's going to be an execute. Oh my, oh my. I, that nearly would have been fine, right? If it was a one for one. Honestly, think that would be fine. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, TP in by Maple. He has nearly no items, right? Uh, all this fighting really just to his detriment, losing six minions. I mean, there's a big way for him to eat. So, like, starting a skirmish here is really just screwing over your mid laner even more. Hello. I mean, if you get some kills, cool, but I don't believe in that one. Oh my god. He gets the kill as well. Bin gets the 1v2 dive, right? On the other side, Aji only gets the kill. Are we now saying Renekron is also broken? No, we're not. We just have to wait. Betty, I mean, didn't convince us in game number one. Uh, Woody? 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 He's doing the fucking Core JJ from last, uh, from the TL series. Oh, is this Renekton? Is this big bad monster that just one v one my AD carry? Is this? Uh, is he in this bush? I'll have to take a look. That 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 that. You 
fucking retard, man. Like PSG bot lane is like a like a fucking anchor in this series, man. What the hell? Um, not really against the. Uh, okay, Cassante all out here. Uga Booga. Okay, okay. Don't fuck this up. And just auto tag. Yes. Cassante, a champion with 4,700 HP, all the armor, millions of magic resist. He gets damage. He gets that. You know how the copy passer goes. I don't know. I uh, have not said it in a while, but uh, yeah. I guess now it just shows top lane champions are broken. Hmm. I mean, I just have so much hatred in my soul. Oh, uh, man. So with that in mind, uh, Jun, right? He could uh, just play, I don't know, Kartos jungle and just farm, farm, farm till oblivion. Or he could play, uh, yeah, a very aggressive uh, style of, uh, what is his name again? Uh, Jarvan and uh, ball with this again. This is just a uh, just complete bot lane diffy jiffy I mean, it's it's an unholy diff uh, Which I mean at least proves me like kind of right because I put elk at the top of the AD carry like rankings What is bro doing you're not even under tower? What the hell man, I mean on so far, also doing well. Kind of, mm, kind of iffy, right? Lehens didn't shine yesterday, uh, and like On is now like looking pretty good. So maybe I should have put On and Elk right the entire BLG bot lane uh, at the top of the rankings. Obviously, this is with factoring in T1's like slump. Uh, if T1 is like uh, not slumping, then obviously every T1 player is like the best. But now let's see top lane. Like this should be a free kill here, really. I mean, there's no way this Renekton can do anything here. Like, Jun is coming, but... Wait, what? What? I mean, Aja just didn't ult, right? It's like... I mean, Cassante, like, he does some damage without ult, but... Like, the real damage just comes in if you ult, right? I mean, Betty is also, like, eating these fucking, like, th uh, Qs from... Uh, from Elk, like, a fucking, like... Bitch is deep-throating, man. Regardless, here, let's see, they get one kill, they get potentially a bailout, and RJ, I mean, has to bail them out, literally. Uh, it's still a two-for-one with both uh, solo laners rotating over. I mean, Betty and Woody, I mean, they also just can't take their fucking losses, right? Uh, ay, 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 man, Elk, just so gigantic, right? He's three, two, and one, right? He died twice already, right? He is, like, more than half of PSG's kills, but... Okay, let's see. Culling comes in. Jun also gets kind of comboed. Knight in the thick of things, but Betty is... Yeah. Oh my, on. On. Oh, God. Crazy. Absolutely crazy what, uh, like, is going on right there. Uh, well, whatever. Uh, the gold deficit, again, pretty big. And, I mean, Maple also just clears the wave instead of helping his team. Then he ults. Now goes in. I mean, that's just not going to work out. What the fuck am I watching? Talk to each other! Please! In the meantime, Bin gets solo killed by Aja Kesante, truly the most well-designed champion in all of League of Legends. I mean, they killed Smolder, good riddance. And here, Betty. I mean, that this time... Hmm. It's kind of, again, the same story as we saw, like, in parts of game number one. Like, he is aggressive at times when he shouldn't be, and then he is, like, defensive at times when he shouldn't be, right? It's like, this is, a, it seems like such a core issue. Okay, yeah, Bin is obviously giga-trolling, right? You can't do that to a Cassandra on the turret, right? Um, yeah, you're just, uh... Oh, oh, oh! This is, this, like, best top laner? Ooh. Good thing I put Keen on top of Bin, uh, I think. I think? I hope. Okay, and uh, yeah. 16, 17 minutes. Aja here is doing his uh, work, right? Goes Knights. I mean, Cassante carry. No, Maple. Maybe don't dash into the enemy team in melee range. Okay, yeah. And suddenly, if they get Aja into a fine position, if they get... Uh, if Maple is not, like, face tanking, and actually they're all working together, Suddenly PSG can win, right? This is with a like they were 10,000 gold behind and they won a team fight uh, 
overall well-designed, uh, well-balanced comp. Is it perfect? Oh my god, they hex skate into the enemy team. But it's Aja, it's Junja, right? It's the front line. Maple with a big ult, they kill Elk. That's like the main carry dead. Now they just need to protect their carries and like there's no way they can lose. Knight also on the side, tangling with Aja. You know that's going to be a dead Orianna. And out of nowhere, PSG with the ace. Woo, baby, man. The hex gate into them. Man, what the hell? <laughs> but these champions, man, how are they? Like, how is that possible? How is it possible that they do so much damage with so little resources? I mean, look at this fight. On that gets them in the, into the old, right? They, but it's just a leeway to just root up, CC up Elk immediately, right? Big follow up old by Maple. And then, I mean, like, where's your damage, right? Nate, I mean, he solo ults Aja, who perfect times it, but obviously also doesn't take any damage from it. And I mean, the rest, I mean, it's a Jarvan, it's a Renekton. It's like, it's not that they don't deal any damage, but uh, they don't have the. What was it? 4,000 gold lead, right? That Elk had on uh, Betty individually, right? It's still 2.5k, but Bin, Elk, I mean, I wouldn't really write something uh, about them in my late game report. Okay, Knight gets flashed on. Big old boom, bam, bap, pow. And Yunjer gets the kill, right? That's the Yunjer that we want to see, enabled by his teammates to actually do his like Maokai things, right? Uh, maybe it would have been better if he actually like had the champion with agency, right? I mean, him on Jarvan would be pretty ball ballsy, would be pretty great. Aji here in the sideline, he has a TP, yes, if he wants to help his team. But Betty is again doing Betty things, getting chunked, and that's maybe an engage coming in. Aji goes in, the turret is low, he should take that, and uh, yeah. Okay, engage by BLG, throttled. It cost them the TP, but they also got a... Uh, the turret, right? So 700 gold for them. Gold lead, where is it? 500 gold, now only roughly 600, 700. You know, something like that is the deficit now. We'll have to take a look at uh, this dragon fight though. This is going to be crazy. BLG first on the objective, right? That means they can set up the vision. That means they may be able to generate a pick. But also taking a look at the ults, PSG, very old reliant team. They don't have their ults on cooldown. Actually, BLG also needs their ults. That's, yeah, they, they also need them. But, but I don't know what this read is from uh, from BLG right here. Uh, obviously, they don't have to risk anything, everything for for this uh, for this uh, dragon, right? Uh, but it's a bit weird, right? They had their ults. BL PSG just used their ults in this top lane exchange there. Uh, so I don't know. That uh, that is a pretty poor read by BLG. Okay, don't be too crazy, man. Maple again is your key champion. Betty is just the support here. He will do a good amount of damage, right? Let's not be confused. There's a TP flank coming in from the Renekton. Old flash forward by Jun. He immediately is evaporated. Again, also wrong target. It's not Batty that you need to kill. It is actually Maple. And oh, we have a pause. Cut after the pause. Okay, uh, I don't know what uh, what the reason was. Maybe I should have put on my headphones like for the while. But uh, yeah, with Jun dead, right? That's something that we saw immediately before the pause. Uh, there's no Baron contest really and like the damage that PSG has on neutral objectives due to their uh, one and only Maple. So I talked about this in my last recording, the Fnatic Genji one. You you didn't see the video, you didn't miss anything. Uh, yeah, I mean in the end wasn't worthy of an upload, especially uh, yeah at the time I recorded it, right? Just straight after work. Now we're just going to see an absolute obliteration. Man, you can't tell me this champion uh, is Fine, man. Aurelian Soul, like after 15 minutes, <laughs> it feels like that champion is so busted. We saw Chovy do unholy things with it. Uh, that guy is, that champion is so strong. Um, like against every short or mid range comp, you're just insta fucked. And here, oh, nice stopwatch on the uh, Oriana ult. And PSG, I mean, they're, go they're going to win this game, no? There's just now nothing stopping them. Bin, there's no way he can do it. They have Baron buff, they have minions. And that's going to be PSG winning a game versus the best team, LPL, strongest, blah, 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 blah. Take that one. PSG, absolutely wild performance. I know some of you guys are really like supporting PSG and uh, I mean, hey, they absolutely delivered again. Um, there are a few things where we need to be like, la, 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 la. 
uh, yeah, especially bot lane. Maybe the Maokai pick for Junja, Junja every time, although it's a good champion and a good pick, right? But maybe it's not the best one for this player. Um, but hey, they locked in the uh, Aurelian Soul and what is his name again? Kesante, and they won. Surprise how that works. Anyway, very nice. Let's see game number three. Okay, my friends. Uh, what what shall I say? The Xante now is on BLG's side and Betty has locked in the Zeri. I mean, overpowered champions on both sides. No Aurelian Soul, so uh, I, I assume it was banned, right? Uh, going to be interesting. Maple with a Nico in mid lane, not in support, in mid lane versus, uh, yeah, Knight's Talia. Uh, yeah, Talia in this game looks pretty fucking strong. I mean, no long range that can just shit on her, and uh, yeah, no Cassante that can ignore her. Uh, yeah, most of the PSG champions are just getting uh, like uber stomped. Mabel, maybe like if Yunja gets a good angle and can like immediately jump her, that's something. But I don't know, man. Elk and On also again with a stronger uh, bot lane, right? Betty, I mean, and Hoodie. We'll have to see, right? The champions in the past could. Like at least match it at times, but I don't believe in these players to be able to do that, right? Aje again on this uh, like Kesante uh, Urgot matchup. This time he gets a laning phase, right? Or at least he gets an early laning phase, which matters most, right? Uh, if you know top lane, if you like, I mean, you all play League of Legends, I assume. You all have played top lane once, right? Uh, like there are certain matchups that if you're even or like if you're fine in like the mid game Like you can absolutely play but usually you are not fine in the mid game due to uh, Like get you getting like your teeth kicked in in the, like, the first three levels flash forward Jun Okay So many weird things are happening there in my eyes, but uh, in the end PSG like win Flash for flash, flash for flash, flash, whatever. It's it's all right, right? Uh, they get the wave hopefully into the into the turret. Uh, Betty dashing forward, but there's Maple with ult, right? So let's see. Let's see. TP comes down into top lane, I assume. Oh my god, man, my eyes. They looked at last game and thought, oh yeah, let's put all our eggs into Betty, right? With It doesn't matter that Yunja is now on an AD jungler, which is like, finally, I want to see that for him, right? Finally, some like agency. Great. Um, Maple, sure, he's on a playmaker. Aje, again, is on a champion that deals damage. But it just doesn't really matter, right? You need some consistent damage. You need like impact in team fights and in, uh, in the game in general. And that's where you look, look at last game and said, oh yeah, Betty is the guy for that one. No disrespect, but full disrespect. What the fuck is that, uh, is that call, right? It's like, sure, you put Woody on a support again next to him. Just like last game. Uh, I mean, at least he is not like thousands of gold behind right now. Again, what the hell is this idea here with dives? Huh? The wave is pushing out. So, like, Betty and Woody need to be... They need to make a decision, right? Are they going to wait for the wave to like hit turret? Okay, now that's what they're looking for. Flash forward and ult. Okay. Very nicely done by Junja. Uh, what are they doing? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe Woody couldn't have done anything. I thought he still had Q on uh, off cooldown, or like he still had Q, right? That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, Betty! Man, did I dope this guy? Or oh, maybe it's just, I mean... Wild. Wild. First of all, Zeri is still completely like, what the fuck is this champion? Second of all, I mean, hey, if that guy is, is like that confident and that like ballsy, it's like, why is he on fucking Lucian versus uh, Kalista all the time? Why not? Why aren't you enabling him more if he's like that go good? What? But okay, I mean, PSG in this game, like nine minutes, they have a gold lead. When did this happen? I mean, I don't know. Maybe they ended the last game with a gold lead, but what the hell? And like, I mean, a Zeri that is 2-0 in the early game. I mean, I've watched enough uh, League of Legends games, especially from the LCK area, 
to know that this is frequently um, commentated on by a GG, right? I mean, what the fuck? Let's just see, man, PSG, can they make the miracle happen? Okay, uh, let's take a look at bot lane, right? We have Zeri versus Kisante. I mean, like, any, like, scale is uneven there. Regardless, let's take a look at top lane. Alk is just getting ulted. Flash forward, very unnecessary. Very many cooldowns blown in an unnecessary fashion. But, uh, yeah, they get kills. Good for them. They also, I mean, they didn't even get Elk's flash. I mean, again, that was very unnecessary because there's no objective left to take after, right? It's just for the message. It's just for the 300 Ishii gold, right? Plus assists. Uh, I would not agree with uh, with this, but hey, it's also like for 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 for, uh, for the fighting spirit, right? Okay, much vision clearing. Okay, Betty. Okay, he just goes in like that. TP also coming in. Junja with the old. Doesn't matter. Like flashing the wave. That's bot lane dead. Monkey also in the dirt. But uh, Knight just way too late to the fight. And I mean, they can't chase into this. This would be foolish. But yeah, I mean, 16 seconds. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. PCS, man. Many comments have been made about this region, right? Uh, positive and negative with obviously them eating up other regions. OCL is just like a minion for them to snack. Uh, OCL? OCO? Like the Australian region, right? Poor poor guys, man. They got them done dirty by right games. LJL, uh, LJL also now a part of this PCS region. Um, again, we can like this, we can dislike it, right? I mean, there are many reasons like for, for disliking that. But the competition just got feisty and PSG coming on top of that big, bigger, stronger region uh, that clearly shows that this team is like better than ever. Man, Betty, I mean, he everything is on him. Not sure about his item build, right? So, I mean, I've not been uh, too familiar with, uh, with that uh, type of game. Okay, they have a bit of a vision pocket, but with the Scuttler... Uh, still there, right? It's, it's very hard to bait a Baron that has not also swarmed yet. Okay, Mabel goes forward! That's Betty! Wait, what the hell? My eyes were just completely trolled there. Uh, yeah, Elk got low, but then it got healed by On just to oblivion. Uh, again, Maple, just like in the very, very early game, maybe a bit too trigger happy. Okay, man. BLG, like, smelling the blood in the water and... I mean, what are you... What? Is, okay. This is painful because PSG... It's not even like BLG making crazy plays, right? Like, PSG just randomly... Like, oh, let's flash into the enemy team. And, oh, wait, that's maybe a bit too much. Oh, wait, don't have immediate follow-up. Ooh, ah, mm, ah, fuck. And, oh, hey, let's just walk through my jungle where the entire enemy team was while we are on, like, uh, the back foot. Anyway, okay, now, the next... Key objective is going to spawn. Flashes, like, available on many, many people, but not on all. Yunja goes in with a flash onto Jun. That's not the right target. Maple again fucks up the old. I mean, what the hell are they doing, man? They just need to play calmly around Elk. But, I mean, Elk is just taking things into his own hands. It's just not enough, man. It's just not enough. And just like that, PSG fumbled the back horrendously. I... I don't want to watch, I want to cut out my eyeballs and put them onto fucking sticks and... Well, whatever, man. You just had one assignment. Keep calm and play around Betty. What do they do? Hey, let, let me flash in. Hey, let me flash in. Let me flash in. No, you just... Keep calm and play around the objective and around your fat Zeri. Oh no, let me flash into the enemy team. Ulting the clone as well. Yunja, man, I've been singing your praises for a long time. What the fuck was that? Maple against just like, bro, why the fuck would you even think to play this champion? Here, Betty, I mean, he at least gets one. But, I mean, it's like... Pff. Jun still has ult, by the way. Crazy. I mean, his second charge, right? Crazy, but he still had it. And then he gets shoved as well. Now, honest smite fight. Yunja, you can't fuck this one up if he fucks it up. I mean, he doesn't even have smite. Wait, what? Oh my, oh my. Oh, look at this. Not, not, not like this. I mean, what the fuck? They just really... I mean... This, this, this needs to be studied. The biggest fumble of all times, man. 
This is like... I mean, it's not like EDG versus T1 in 2016. It's not that bad, but... This is a fumble of horrendous magnitude. They had a 305 or something... No, 303 Zeri, right? With all the gold in the world, with all the XP, they had Soul Point ready on their platter. Like, their entire team was in a fine position. And then they are just... I, I need to shut up. I, I need to shut up because I'm just going to get banned. Uh, okay, let's just watch the next game and uh, yeah, see you then. Okay, uh, no, yeah, in, in the next game, I, I mean, I've not calmed down yet. I still just want... Uh, I, uh, how, man? I'm just so fucking angry. I'm so angry. And uh, yeah, this game is going to be a complete fucking disaster. I mean, they've picked Ezreal unironically. Uh, okay. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, as we're here in this bot lane matchup, it's at least not completely like troll. Uh, on paper, the draft doesn't look too good, but then you think about how these lanes are going to play out. Uh, Knight is not completely retarded. He's not going to have Azir Syndrome and is going to use his E um, uh, actively uh, through Talia's rocks, right? He's not going to be that silly guy. So, like, this Talia is going to be uh, in a bit of a situation. Um, Bin is just going to have like the best time in his life versus Arjay, but uh, maybe not due to the lane swap uh, that, I mean, PSG initiated, that's pretty good for them, right? It's needed for them, otherwise, like, how are you going to play this top lane, right? You're just not going to do anything. Yunja, again, I mean, I think, uh, what's her name, Piggy uh, Sejuani? Like, she's pretty fine right now, like, not much to complain, right? Her ultimate is pretty, uh, like, always pretty fine. Um, Especially like in high pressure situations, you want to have something where you can just snap and engage. Aja here, uh, yeah, I mean, you should be, yeah, okay, dashes away from the wall, has the W for level 2, okay, pretty good. I'm just going to retake the turret aggro, Jun here is going to not flash away, yeah, they just tank it away, right, they have 4 people, they have all the HP bars in the world, Woody here is chunking out the uh, knight. Pretty helpful for him. Um, so yeah, the Xante bought some time. He's not going to TP in again, right? Pinging for assistance. And sure, they've taken the two plates, but it's also shared on four people. Whereas on the top side, uh, it's only one plate for now. It's going to be two in a, in a, 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 a moment. But uh, yeah, it's all on Betty, right? Uh, still with the assist going over, like still uh, there's a... Oh, actually, he doesn't get level three. And he has no mana. I mean, actually, actually, if I, the more I think about this, like, if this is an even field, I think BLG is just in a f fucked position, right? Their champions are just going to get, like, poked on by range, by Betty and by Woody. And then Aja is going to do Cassandra things, which means he's just going to ignore the enemy team, run into them and kill them all. While Junja just throws in an ult. And, I mean, there's not really anyone who can reliably block this, right? Um, so, uh, yeah. If, uh, if they can uh, play uh, out their composition in an honest fashion, right, don't fall too far behind. Uh, or, uh, like, what else should I say? Uh, yeah, don't fall too far behind, don't get caught off guard. And uh, more importantly, right, like they were winning the last game. Don't fucking in. Uh, then, yeah, yeah there's much uh, there's much greatness uh, to be had for PSG. Uh, Bin here may be in trouble, but I mean, I don't think they have all too much damage to deal with them at this point in the game. Uh, yeah, nice condemn, ult. Oh, actually with Azir ult. Azir? Ezra ult, enough. Maybe I underestimated some of the base damage there, but... Uh, hmm, interesting. I think I've been placed it more uh, respectfully, and we'll never die there, but... I mean, hey, so far it's a 1 for 1, so far it's a PSG gold lead. Uh, and again, after I've calmed down and assessed the situation maybe a bit better, uh, I still think their comp is... Like, as I said, in a good position, right? They just need to be careful to not uh, do the same mistakes of the last game. Be their own, uh, like, be the creators of their own demise. But PSG versus other, like, minor regions, like uh, the Western ones, right? Not sure who they're going to play against. Uh, wait, it's... It's TL versus Fnatic. Oh yeah, it's P. Oh no, PSG versus G2. They're going to play the best of the minor Western regions. Ah fuck. Ah come on, man. PSG versus Fnatic TL. That would have been a banger, man. They would have. Cru they would they crush them? I think they could. Ah man. 
Like uh, LPN and LCK just make uh, make it so so boring. Not really. I love their matches. I just love quite uh, uh, quality League of Legends, but I also love League of Legends in general, right? So seeing like these uh, smaller teams, right? Be ah, uh, be rewarded for their efforts, right? And finally, like catching up to like higher regional play. I mean, I would love to see uh, like a tournament with uh, with weaker teams only, right? I mean, I watch play-ins every time, right? Uh, I don't care that like the quality of games is like poor, right? I mean, that's also fine, right? It's just for the occasion. It's for the banter. It's like for all the things around gameplay, uh, like outside of gameplay, right? If the uh, aspiration of Riot Games for their events is to have like the best of the best play, fine. Then just don't invite anyone else, right? Then just oh. Uh, yeah, Maple, hmm. I don't know, but okay, so Knight's gold lead increases, but again, it's like the thing that matters, uh, like in sports, right? Especially, I mean, I don't know about like the world, but if I look at uh, German football, right? Like second division, right? Not even the best teams in the country, like some second third division right if you know what the league is american watchers not sure how like shit works on your country you have no like your stuff works different i, I think uh right like second third division teams they like, attract thousands of fans that go there every week even if their teams completely suck ass like they can't sh fucking shoot a, a ball into an empty goal uh if their life depends on it but uh like thousands of people will go to these matches and cheer for their teams. And that's exactly what we need to cultivate in uh, League of Legends as well. We need to like cultivate fan bases and passion for teams, regions and narratives like that. If you remember uh, 13, 14, 15, right? NA, like they also played fucking shit League of Legends. But due to the personalities of the uh, of the players, of the of the teams involved, right? They had higher view rates than today, even though today they are like better. I mean, that's debatable, right? Uh, to some extent. Okay, flash of flash. Knight has no flash. Can't you cook that guy? Hello, cook him. Kill him. Do it now. Oh my god, it will be a one for one, but yeah. Yeah, no, 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 you don't have nothing there. But I, uh, yeah, that took a while to kill Knight there. Crazy. But regardless, uh,. That is the thing that they need to cultivate, right? The teams themselves need to do that, but Riot Games and the leagues also need to work on that, right? And sure, fans come with success, uh, but again, counter argument, look at just poor, like, probably you're in football and basketball and like other international, international or American based sports, you have that shit as well, right? Poor teams that never win, they still have thousands of, of fans, right? Uh, and that's because of the way they cultivate a relationship with the fans, they cultivate a unique identity and uh, they perform from that. Um, obviously, like these are like teams that have been around for like decades, which obviously is harder to like uh, copy or uh, like, yeah, mimic in uh, League of Legends, which I mean the game is just like, what is it, 15 years old right now, roughly, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Wasn't it 2009? when uh, the alpha came out of the game. Regardless, whatever. We have another fight here. Nice sidestep there by Elk. He has the cleanse and ult still available. But let's see. Okay, nice E. We'll just deal with the Cassante. I mean, that's why, uh, like, uh, what is her name again? Zaya is just such an anti-engage champion, right? Okay, okay. Lundra, I mean, with ult. Like, he's fancying himself. Oh. Nice one. Uh, okay, actually, hey, watch, watch, watch. What is that guy? Okay, that's just your support, but still. Woody, watch out. Betty, what are you doing? Hello. Maybe, maybe it's just a bait. There's the TP coming in from Arjun, right? He's still playing Cassante, even though he's a bit sloppy this game. But yeah, I mean, uh, this is something that uh, Riot Games needs to work on to uh, cultivate. And like a part of that is like uh, work on rivalries, right? Rift rivalries or Rift rivals. Right, the NA versus EU. That's a rivalry that's like, that's there, right? That's already established, right? What do they do with it? They don't do anything at all, right? We have years, I, what was it? It was not last year, it was, was it 2020? Where we had like 
zero EU versus NA like games, or like maybe just one or so. We didn't have a face-off at MSI, I remember, and I think only one or two games at uh, at uh, what is it at Worlds. I might be like misremembering things, but the thing that like we have these established rivalries, and they don't do anything with it. What I'm uh, like trying to get at, right? Between all these like things that are a bit harder to manage, right? Like creating a brand. Good dodge! Good dodge! What the fuck are these guys saying? Elk just straight up walked into one line from here to there and everyone threw their shit into the opposite direction. I mean, what the fuck? Oh, crazy. But okay, good dodge. Yeah, I mean, I want to have what they have. I want to be as positive as these guys are because, uh, I mean... Maybe the, the secret to positivity is just being delusional. Crazy. <sighs> okay, let's calm down now. And again, the thing that... Oh, wait, on now with an engage. That looks decent. Elk's ult has been forced out. Remember, that guy has no flash. Still has plans, though. But uh, PSG, I mean, also their abilities are on cooldown. Betty, no flash. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have to watch out. Maple, what the hell is this? Been in the back line. We'll just take care of him, no? Help, help you, Cassante. Hello, help Cassante. Okay, they're flashing onto Bin. Can they get this? Get no, they can't get the lockdown, man. Flash cleanse is too crazy. So many summoner spells expanded. So many ults expanded, man. PSG, again, with a draft advantage, I would argue, are dancing with BLG, right? The PCS champion dancing evenly with the BLGs, with the LPL champion, man. It's absolutely crazy what we're seeing here. Fans come with success, right? It's as, as, as cringe as it is, right? It's just how it is. Oh wait, actually Baron for Drake? Baron for Drake? No, actually no Drake being taken. But this BLG lineup we talked about that they have everything. Uh, they might have nothing, but they have damage. But let's see, maybe they have overextended themselves on already. Nearly dead. Baron will finish him off, yes. Elk has uh, ult, and ult, uh, ult and flash available. Mawabi, now they're funneling too deep into this. Get Just get the smite. Jun goes in. Smite secured! As uh, Aja doesn't get uh, the... Oh my, oh my, okay. Okay, let's see Betty here. Oh no, he auto takes a ward. He gets the E, but this is still... Oh, he doesn't hit the Q, it doesn't matter! In Ace! Actually on lift, never mind. Okay, let's come down. But still, man, what the fuck is war is with Betty shitting and sucking dick in the first two games? And now, I mean, what the hell? <sighs> Crazy, what the fuck? fuck are we witnessing? Is PSG actually going to do it? No, they're probably going to fumble the bag once more, right? I mean, like, let's not believe in this team. Every time we believe, they're going to, like, absolutely disappoint you. But, hey, that is what I'm talking about. Give these teams more, like, stages to play on, right? We need more international events and especially more focus around, like, lower uh, level teams, right? We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait. PSG got a lead in the last one. A bigger lead in, in my eyes. And they completely fumbled it. Teleport comes in here. Old onto Betty. Betty is in all kinds of dangers, but so far he is still alive. Not anymore. And that's a big part of the damage gone. Aji dancing with Elk. That will be a dead Elk, even with Flash and everything. Actually, he doesn't have it anymore. Let's see. Can they deal with Knight? That guy is crazy. And now Bin is unlocked. There are no met not many cooldowns. He dodges into the turret. And still with uh, this potentially good start. Okay, okay. Not enough base damage, the slow also not working enough. Can Woody get another W in? No, the movement speed is just too much. Oh, actually, followed by Yunjer. You have to be careful here. Maple has the flash. Is it worth it? I don't agree with this, but they get the kills again. It's a 5 for 3 in the end. I mean, PSG winning fights after fight. Like, even if, again, I don't think they will be able to finish this. They're just going to clone themselves again. But... I mean, they're on the road to actually getting to a game 5 here. So now for in 19 seconds. This is going to be just like last game. They're not going to go for Dragon. They're just going for a random fight. They're going to lose everything. And uh, then, um, I don't know. They're just going to like troll and lose everything, right? They're going to lose Drake. They're going to lose the Baron. And that will just snowball into a loss of the game. Okay, flip onto On. Elk's already forced out. On already dead. Like, there's no way they can fuck this up. Three men old. Okay. Cassante just scooped Knight out of his own insect. Two men already dead. 
Elk low HP. He doesn't have anything up and available. He will fall as well. They can just walk down mid lane. You can't finish. You can't finish. There's no way they fuck this up. There's no way PSG fucks this up at this point. You can literally just run down. You just need to auto attack the turrets and also inhibitors, minions and everything. There's no way you lose from this position. 18 seconds on Tujun, but that should not matter. You are at 30 minutes. You have AD carries, you have Kisante, you have everything. There's no way you lose this. Oh my god, PSG actually win, man. I, I thought they would fumble it again, but this should have been a 3-1 victory. A 3-1 victory if they only didn't fucking end that one game. But PSG ties the series 2-2. This is, I think, by far the best wildcard, minor region, whatever you want to label them, performance we have seen, like, maybe ever. I mean, there's Albus Lox, Nu... Albus Nox uh, Luna. Winning against Rox Tigers in a best of one. Uh, at, did they win one or did they win two best of ones? What else is there? I mean, they're obviously a uh, GAM, right? With uh, qualifying to main stage and MSI and uh, Worlds in 2017, I think. Um, what else is there? DFM qualifying for Worlds. Um, like against all odds, right? With uh, major regions in play -ins. Like, is there anything else where, like, a minor region is, like, performing so well against, a uh, like, an LPL champion? I, I can't think of anything at the top of my head. I mean, PSG is just absolutely playing out of their mind. Again, they should have won the series already. Let's see. Game number five. I can't believe we're going there. This is going to be historic in either way. Let's just put the hand hands together and let's go game number five right now. I don't know. And another cannon minion missed on on on, on Cam. Argio, man, that guy's allergic to cannon minions. Here again, he's going for a skirmish, but this time he doesn't know that Kindred is coming in. Um, there's the knockback, first blood. I mean, yeah, the mark should be on the uh, yeah on the on the crab that spawned directly next to him. I mean, what a positive coincidence. Nunja is decently strong, right? But uh, well, we'll have to see here. Knight just gets a free ult. And uh, yeah, PSG just... I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Hello? You have picked full scaling. Why are you trying to be so aggressive early on? Again, don't roll over. But... Ha? Why run into Knight just for a free ult pickup? Uh, press tab. Jun with his f free first blood that uh, like top lane inted, like bought a noon cribber. That's just a bit better than your uh, double long swords. Man, I can't believe it, man. Like your only task in this game, PSG, is don't do stupid shit for the first 20 minutes. Win, right? You're just outscaling them. But uh, yeah, now top lane is a, a thousand gold behind. Bot lane. As expected, 500 gold-ish, 400 gold-ish, right? If you put supports and AD carries together. Mid lane is crazy that there's a CS difference, uh, uh, like, at all in uh, a Knight's favor here. Like, I don't know what Maple is doing. Like, how do you fall behind, like, in CS in Azir versus Nico? Huh? Okay, Ghost has been blown by the uh, Udyr, but uh, is it going to be enough? My guess is not. <gasps> Okay, at least he gets uh, Jun's flash, so that's at least something, but uh, yeah. I mean, even with the control ward in the river, it's just not enough. Oh, scoop on tonight, that's actually a real one. Ult out as well, but uh, yeah, not really much more threat. Uh, gold lead starts to become pretty cringe, right? Especially in top lane again. Aja give it, Aja lose it, I mean, what the hell. Uh, okay. Oh, wait a second. Arrow comes through. Yunja. Uh, no, he's marked. But he should be able to get away. Uh, he has flash as well. Hello, 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 hello. Okay. Uh, positive news. I mean, I would love to say about like positive news in bot lane, but I mean, they're also down 500, 600 gold, right? And uh, uh. luckily or interestingly, it's an uh, attack speed Varus, right? You know how I feel about that one. Yay, great, and so on. Okay, that's already Betty dead, even with Flash. Aji gets eaten up. What the hell am I watching? Maple also hears... I mean, this is just a fucking disaster. 
We are witnessing an absolute collapse here. I mean... This is just depressing, man. You fight so well, like the entire series, right? Or at least the last three games. Even game number three, they like put on like a bigger effort. And what the fuck is this, right? You are so far behind. Woody just wastes his devour for no reason whatsoever. Like you have nothing here, you have nothing. Why are you trying to defend this turret with nothing? You have no gold, no levels. You need to scale, they are strong yet, they have like pissed on you all early game, right? They're stronger than they should be. And they go in, defend the turret that has like no HP left, and they all die for no reason whatsoever. Now, oh yeah, now we have to play this uh, scaling comp with a 5 gold, 5k gold deficit. This kindred uh, is going to get even stronger and stronger. Woody is, I mean, like he has his devour, but he can't devour his entire team. Not to mention that, I mean, his team is delusional as fuck. I mean, is this worth it? Okay. Yeah, okay. Not too bad. That is pretty nice. He gets the objective, uh, like, bounty with the smite and so on. This is worth maybe debating about, right? If you give over this herald, right? You give over the herald gold, and you're going to lose your mid lane turret, which is very, very important for this team. Very, very important. Uh, okay, Jun here. I mean, all forced out. But this might just turn into a bit of a disaster. Maple flash ult and yeah. I can't fucking believe it, man. It's like, there's an 04 and then a fucking, like, he ults a fucking 04 Udyr and an 02 uh, Tom Kench. While his team is 8,000, 9,000 gold ahead. And they, these guys are going crazy. This is the like spring uh, LPL MVP and whatever else. Oh my. Maple, you're not him. But okay. Again, they're looking for plays. Not too bad, right? But again, every play that you look for while being so far behind, it's just uh, an opportunity to uh, like get further and further like fucked over, right? I just, I, this is, like, this is the reason why I can't, like, listen to these commentators most of the time. Because due to them being forced to always be positive, right? They only, they can only talk about positive things, right? It's like, if a team is 9-0 winning, what are they talking about? The problem is, a team is 9-0 up. The commentators will always, always be like, eh, hey. like, team is playing out of their mind they're so good they're crazy and that could be right and that can be right but they they will never talk about the other team playing like fucking idiots not playing towards their comps not playing like well being over aggressive like they will never say that and that's why i hate the the official commentators i mean obviously as as people they like, they know what they're saying is like somewhat uh, disingenuous uh, like at least like I believe some of them do right if we watch uh, what they say on Twitter or something But the fact that on cast they always have to be like okay the team that wins is playing good and the team that loses I mean they uh, They are okay, right? They're like they're, like we don't talk about that, right? It's always the same, right? Okay, we get the Baron steal. No, Dunja is in base. He's, he's been, yeah, he died before. Aji again, I mean uh, Cool R5, um, what is it, Udyr. Great, great R5 Udyr into lane swap, into just fucking inking the game away. Also, like, the decision-making process from, like, going from uh, a Zeri, right, as, like, a mobile uh, carry to, to go to, uh, like, a Senna. I mean, like, what? What? Like, you want to... Like, first, they have him on Lucian, a fucking absolute, like, dog useless champion if you're not playing to the... Uh, to the limits of the champion, right? Um, then you put him on uh, Zeri, right? It's like, okay, all X in, onto you, right? We have a, a Nico in mid lane, we put you uh, on, uh, Z uh, on Zeri, right? You, we give you a Lulu and everything, and you, you are going to carry Betty, right? It's like, And he's like, bet, and he carries. Uh, and then it's like, we move over to Senna, where he's now like supporting Woody, who has been 
like by far the worst player on the team for for the series so far. And here, I mean, like okay, like they get a one for one, like pretty cool. But I mean, the game is already over. They're fourteen thousand gold behind. They will never be able to scale. Uh, at twenty two minutes here, it's just all over. And I mean, yeah, sure, Knight just hit them with the nitty gritty, but I mean, his team is like so far ahead. He could hit the minions, and it wouldn't matter. And uh, yeah, I mean, the decision making, like. I, I just don't get it, man. PSG, what the fuck? Like, who mind controlled you into doing? Like, first of all, I mean, again, the draft. I don't think it's inherently a bad draft. I think the draft is good, but the problem is, does it play towards your strengths, right? We saw, okay, actually, Batty, if he's on champions that have like some agency and that he's comfortable with, like that guy can actually play some League of Legends, right? And then what do they do? They put him on Senna, and like. What have uh, like would he be the carry? Uh, oh, Betty here called once more. I mean, I don't know where he died, but uh, it's out of his base, so it's obviously he's out of position, right? At this game stage, you shall never lose your your base. It's just uh, like playing from behind 101. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's at least they got one kill, right? Uh, Maple here, desperate attempts, and they will get Zante. I mean, Junja tries his best, but. Not set up to succeed, and uh, yeah, and very sad and anticlimactic finish to the series here. Uh, again, PSG could have easily won 3-0, uh, 3-1 if they didn't fumble. Uh, what was it? Game number two? Was it game number two? I think it was. No, it was it game number three? Whatever it was, they could have easily won the series. Uh, like even this last game, like there was potential, right? Because I think the draft is in theory great. Does it fit the players perfectly? Wouldn't really agree with that. And then obviously it doesn't fit their playstyle, right? If they want to go in super ham, um, contest everything in the early game, then you can't play. Like then you can't do T1 pick five scaling champions. You can't just do stuff like that. In the end, BLG. I mean, they performed, but uh, like from uh, like LPL first place perspective, I mean, a bit underwhelming. But uh, oftentimes it wasn't really them fucking up which led to their defeats. Um, I mean. I wouldn't lie, they like obviously did errors, right? That's not what I'm like trying to uh, point out. But I wouldn't say that they like, did many grave errors. Um, I would uh, yeah, rather point into the other direction and say, oh my god, PSG played out of their minds. Um, literally, right, till they become completely mind empty and numb and uh, performed like they did in game number five. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it will be an absolute banger to see PSG versus uh, G2 in the next round. And uh, yeah, T1, we don't need to be uh, scared of BLG, I think, uh, at all. Uh, let's uh, let's cut some throats and we see each other next time. And uh, yeah, again, I'm just saying it once more, like subscribe for MSI content. Hey, we, we upload nearly every day. Right now it's every second day, but uh, we'll, we'll get to it when uh, work is not cringe anymore. Anyway, we'll see you. Bye bye, my friends.